Sigmar, which are the main kind of way that you engage with the, the gaming nice. elements They're free. of Dawnbringers. They will be made available free online. So if you want to play Path to Glory, um, you don't need your big core book anymore. There'll be a, a free download to access them. Um, and there will also be brand new fiction for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So if you want to kind of read some stories and follow along what's going on in the narrative, um, you absolutely can. So this is a really big narrative moment, I suppose, mm. for, for the Mortal Realms and for Age of Sigmar. So we're going to give you loads of ways, whether you want to enjoy it through gaming or you want to kind of enjoy the lore, basically. No, something's wrong with my model. That's it. Um, and just to say, the, the rules for those uh, boxes are in this book. Great. Okay, cool. So I think we, we hinted a little bit that we might have some orky stuff. Um, at the start of it. So let's have a look. Um, uh, so with the second dawn, uh, second of the Dawnbringer books, mm -hmm. has quite a kind of destructiony feel. Mm. There's some quite cool stuff coming along with that with that book. But let's have a look at what might be my favourite model of the year so far. <laughs> Whoa, death metal. Prepare to go the whole hog. Oh no! Oh, he's on a jet. <laughs> That's. Alrighty. Go pig or go home. Alright. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think they like it. I think it's fair to say the video team had some fun making that <laughs> video. Uh, so let's have a look at this guy uh, up close. This is an Iron Jaws. Here we are. Here he is. This is an Iron Jaws more grunter. It's for those people who were looking at their Iron Jaws army and they were like, it's pretty unsubtle, but it's just not unsubtle enough for me. That's, that's I it. want something even brutaler, even less, <laughs> you know, finesse. I want a massive, massive pig to charge into the middle <laughs> of the enemy army and send them flying. And, and here it is. Here and it is. He's, he's got little sidecars as well. He's got some little sidecars, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, yeah so uh, it's a huge monster. You don't really get a sense of the, the scale of it from this shot necessarily because Iron Jaws themselves are quite big and that's yeah. like a, a, a big boss on the back of it. Um, so we've got a picture of it next to the, the current Gore Grunter, which Ooh. is already quite big. Um, so this this is you know it's, it's a big monster. This is bigger oh. than a stegodon. It's kind of like it's a, a big old base. Um, anything you want to tell us about a, a Morgrunt, Alex? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. It's just a giant swine. I can't imagine being hit by one of these. Right. Yeah. Uh, so a, a few things Get to know. This, this will be um, a multi-option kit, so you'll have oh, a few different ways good. to assemble this. Um, if you just really really like big pigs, um, <laughs> you can build this in a few different ways. <laughs> So you can have um, characters on it. You can have it as like a monster unit option. You can lean very heavily into a kind of piggy theme, a kind of grunter theme for your Iron Jaws. So if you just want lots of cavalry backed up by some big pig monsters, you can absolutely do that. Very cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That might be my favorite model of the test reveal. You know? it sure, and it's cool and all, but you know. Certainly my favorite video. Oh, they took the the I think so. Cool, okay. So I noticed they took this from a Blood Bowl and put it on there. Uh, the new models that it's that's pretty funny yeah, well um that's the models we've got to show you today we do have um a bit of a road map to show you to run all right let's go through the road map stigma in the next few uh months so let's take a look at what's on the horizon so there we go uh so as we know we have uh seraphon battle foam has come out in its special edition uh in the last week or so um we have yep. harbingers uh book one of the dawnbringer series is on its way very very soon and we have a new General's Handbook, which will be hitting um, in summer as well. So all mm. of those uh, releases in summer are only a few weeks away. In autumn, uh, we have the much anticipated Cities of Sigmar Battle Tome will be landing with us, along with okay. all the models we've seen and a whole bunch of new ones that we're going to um, share with you over the, the coming months. Uh, we've got book two of Dawnbringers, which will have a very heavy destruction theme as the Twin Tailed Crusades kind of hit some um, Iron Jaws obstacles as they go along. And book three, which is yet to be, yet to be confirmed, um, we have another battle tome on its way in winter, and then book, book four, four of Dawnbringers uh, alongside it. So some kind of a little bit of mystery about what some of those might have, but you've got some, some hints in there already. Lots of um, things to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Um, one thing to note is that all the Dawnbringer series um, will touch on every Grand Alliance and will have new miniatures for uh, over 12 factions, which is pretty cool. That is right. pretty cool. Uh, if you're watching along on Twitch, uh, that is the end of our preview stream. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've... Um, 
enjoyed some of the models we've got to show off. There's some, there's some cool uh, things mm -hmm. on their way. Um, so thank you. Thank you for joining us. If you are in the auditorium. They will be doing Q&As. There you go. Oh, I thought I... Okay, a little bit of a... Little bit of lag there. Alrighty. Let's go over here. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was all of it. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing the Lord of the Rings one. Maybe I'll do Lord of the Rings one. Um, I don't play that game. But maybe I will do it because I didn't uh, plan on doing this one either. I was just going to do Old World and Horus Heresy. But uh, maybe I'll do all of them. Who knows? I do enjoy making this content. I quite like it. Um, but we will see how the copyright claims go when I upload these to YouTube. I'll probably still get struck with them. Uh, they probably, I probably weren't the fast enough on some of them. And who knows? Who knows? But uh, I quite like them. Like doing this. Not, not. I don't like getting copyright ID claimed. I quite like doing this. I'm having loads of fun doing this. This is content that I originally wanted to do, but was not confident of not enough to do in the beginning. So I just stuck to gameplay. In the, I'm quite enjoying everything. So, my name is Redbread. This has been the Warhammer Fest re, re, reveals. I was gonna say, re previews, but that's not right. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all the views and the support on my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. For those of you who are new, I am a variety streamer, so I will be playing other games and things and so forth. I might be playing some spooky games pretty soon. I don't do very good with spooky games, so you'll get to see me wig out and cuss and sweat very hard. So that's, that's just something fun to look forward to, right? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, again, my name is Dreadbread. All the links where you can find me will always be in the descriptions of the VODs. And I will see you in the next one. Till next time. Bye-bye.